So let's compare the Intel's newer i5-660K with the earlier i7-4790 Haswell processor that was launched more than a year ago uh, compared to the Skylake that's just recently launched as we make this video in October 2015. So the basic difference between these two is the support for the hyper threading in the earlier Haswell model that gives a performance improvement of 15 to 18 percent assuming everything else is same which is of course not but we'll look at we'll just try to look what makes them different what how the performance improvement or performance difference comes from uh, the older Haswell processor also gets a higher clock frequency from 3.5 gigahertz versus 3.6 gigahertz and slightly in improved maximum clock frequency, turbo frequency, 3.9 gigahertz versus 4 gigahertz. So it has more hyper, it's a support for hyper threading and it has a higher clock frequency and it also has a higher cache memory, 36 GB versus 8 GB, which is, uh, that does make a significant difference in performance improvement. So with these three, the Skylake, uh, the Skylake on the other hand is a newer processor, it's manufactured with a newer 14 nanometer lithography, so Intel can pack a more transistor in a given area. So it's newer architecture that works in favor of Skylake, but the other, but we have seen at other places that Skylake is not substantially mm, different uh, architecture, it does not sub substantially improve the performance and therefore we don't see any significant improvement just due to the processor architecture given the same clock frequency given everything is same so we will expect the haswell 4790 to be significantly faster uh, than this and we'll take a look at the pass mark score now and then we'll take, take a look at some other differences after that so the 4790 is 10042 as uh, from the pass mark score and we have 7833 for i5-6600K. So that is a significant maybe 20 to 25 percent of performance difference and that is uh, substantial. So the older Haswell processor is still uh, fairly good and though it is on top of the line quad core but still uh, in terms of pricing the Haswell still seems to be expensive even though it is older $312 versus $243. We expect that the Haswell's price should have come down somewhat in retail because Intel lists its price once and does not change even though the retail prices because they have an inventory and other for other reasons. It may or may not have gone down but my expectation is it may have gone slightly down or it will go down slightly in future. Other differences include the newer HD Graphics 539 Skylake, so in graphics you should see slightly better performance. The Skylake also has a support for the DDR4 clock frequency, DDR4 which works on DDR4, uh, which works at lower um, 1.2 volt versus the DDR3 at 1.5 volt. And DDR4 does not improve any performance as we have seen in other places and forum, other benchmarks, but it does save power. So it's not something that's uh, that's any use in terms of for the desktops. It may have been good for uh, uh, thin laptops where it saves powers. I hope uh, I've covered most of the things and any everything that you wanted to check between these two. I don't want to go into details of uh, benchmark after benchmark that you get the ballpark number of 22 to 25 to 28 percent performance difference. Uh, you can look at the detailed benchmark at other websites as well. Of course, if, if that's in, but that that's the ballpark things for now. Thanks for taking a look.